Hello, guys. It's Tuesday morning for me, but maybe not morning for you. It's actually probably, let me think, it's early afternoon. No, late, early evening for Janine. Hi, Erin. Hello, everyone. This is very exciting. I feel like it's been a really long time since I have done inspiration, but I don't know. It, it hasn't really been that long. It's only been a week. And we did learning letters on Friday. But just for some reason, it feels like it's been a long time. So anyway, no one cares. That's okay. Just talking to myself. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Today, we are playing with dun -dun, the Kobe ink. Kobe ink. Um, this is number six, which is Bordeaux. And I have sort of half matched it to my Lamy LX. This is the uh, rose gold version. And I swapped out the medium nib that it came with, the black one, and I put on a 1.9 millimeter stub nib. That's horribly reflective. But anyway, it says 1.9 on it. And I have my Midori MD B6 Slim Gritted Trusty Notebook. I've already inked the pen because as we know, there was that incident where this, this happened. And there were other incidences where other things happened. So I've already inked. So how are you guys all doing? Is everyone having a fine Tuesday? I just, I ask because I'm curious, you know, because I'm always talking and no one else gets to really talk. Okay. Just flipping through so we can look at the glory of the past works. Mm. Does anybody else like this? Like, does, does that do anything for you? Like the crinkling paper? Okay, maybe just me? All right. Um, let's, let's play around. Okay, so the sort of okay Tuesday, that's not, that's not very exciting. It should be lovely, not just sort of okay. Okay, first of all, we are gonna draw a heart and we're gonna send that for Jenny. Actually, we're gonna do two hearts, so that now it'll be a little bit better. Hear the paper crinkle? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so the Kobe inks, if you are unfamiliar with them, are made by Sailor. And um, they are, so, so what we can already expect is that they're going to be saturated, well-behaved, beautiful, and sheeny because that is what Sailor is really good at. Uh, oh, flu season. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Flu season is not fun. Not good for anyone involved. Okay. Now, Bordeaux, I think, is accurately named because it's, uh, it actually looks like Bordeaux. I'm blanking on how to draw to draw the U. There we go. Has really nice shading. Hello, newcomers! Um, okay, so we have the ink. The pen is... That was horrible. The... Um, sorry, the pen is the Lamy. This is the L... X and I have a 1.9 millimeter nib on it. Okay. Now the thing with the um the stub nib here is it's not that it's dry, but it's not it has such a wide surface to um spread ink over that I don't think I would be able to make a nice juicy swab, so I'm just going to do this. Alright, let that dry a little, give it a bit of a, a smearing. Oh, one thing I should point out, if you are familiar with Sailor bottles, you will know that they always come with the little cup inside that like, so you open it up, it's got that little plastic, I guess like a tiny little cup right here. Now, these do not have that. So personally, I always take out the cup immediately. That's like the first thing I do because I absolutely despise them and I do not understand at all why they are in there because I don't find them useful. 
and um, I'm very pleased to report that the Kobe inks do not have that. Hooray! Okay. It has a cute little label that sort of has a color matched thing here, but I think this is more brown than it's than is accurate. So, hello, Annabelle. Thank you for joining. Oh my God, we're having so much fun here. Okay, maybe it's just me. It's probably just me. Um, okay. I never know what to talk about because aside from rambling about the ink, like, what do you guys, what do you want to hear me say? Should I just continue rambling about the ink? Probably, huh? Has anyone acquired the new Sailor 1911 Royal Tangerine? I do not have it, but I really like it. And you know how I am obsessed with my Fresca, and I feel like it needs a friend. Okay, that's not quite dry yet, so let's just keep, let's keep scribbling. I really like these Midori notebooks. Like, they're just so, like, it's just so useful and portable and convenient. Um, Anderson Pens will be at the LA Pen Show, yes. Even though it's a really long drive. <laughs> like, a really, really long drive. Um, oh, you got the Royal Tangerine. Oh, it looks so nice. Uh, I want to write Royal Tangerine, but that wouldn't match the, the, the pen and ink at all, so... I'm going to write pink gold, or pink, pink gold? Yes, that's what it's called. You know what I just discovered very recently? The Facebook has, like, two inboxes. You know? Like, not just your regular inbox, but there's, like, a second inbox with... Re oh, sorry. Like a second inbox with like requests and stuff. Didn't know that. Anyway, that's weird. Um, oh, you got a Naginata Togi. Oh, nice. That's a fun nib. Super awesome. Okay, I think my smeary swab is, is dried out here. So let's take a look. Um, oh, got ink on my finger. I think the shading is really nice. I would say like a medium on the shading scale because it's already a bit of a darker ink, but you could definitely, if you're using like a stub or something broad, you can definitely get some nice uh, variation in the saturation there. And the my little ink pool has a bit of green sheen, which I'm trying to show you, but my camera just does not want to cooperate. Hopefully you can see it. It's like right around here. Nice green sheen. It does show up in regular writing as well. So again, Sailor makes fabulous, fabulous inks. And I think the worst part is there are, that they have made so many that it's hard to, um, like it's hard to collect them all or try them all, which is where samples come in really handy. Okay. I will definitely get to, um, Oh, that was, okay, that was not the word I was trying to write. I would definitely get to feathering and its behavior on the page. Um, I can do that. Let me see. I probably should have written on the... Well, you can kind of see because I've used the backside. Show through is, I don't know, like medium. And this is, ve this is very fountain pen friendly paper. And it's a very dark saturated ink. But... Completely usable on the other side, in my opinion. Like, I would have no issue writing over top of this and being able to see that. Um, in terms of its behavior, like I said, really well-behaved inks. And I, like, it's it's pretty unusual that I would have feathering with Sailor or Kobe or, like, Bung Box inks. They're all well-behaved. Unless you have, like, really oily paper like paper that is very smooth and has picked up your the oils from your hands or if you're using paper that's not particularly fountain pen friendly but like this stuff is fan fantastic so is that nauseating oh okay sorry <laughs> that was horrible okay so i am going to write i'm gonna write ontario because I wanted to do an O. You know what? I'll do, instead of Ontario, I'm going to write 
<laughs> this is hideous. I'm going to stop writing now. That's horrible. Have you guys used any of the Kobe inks? I know someone said it was hard to get um, where you are. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Um, I know you said it was hard to get where you are. Um, we, we started carrying them a few months ago. So actually, it's been quite a while already. So it's kind of nice. Like hopefully that makes it more accessible for more folks. We do ship worldwide. So there's always that. Okay, let me see. Um, uh, is anybody's birthday today? I don't care. I'm going to write happy birthday anyway. Whether it's your birthday or not, whether you like it or not, I'm going to do it. That's weird. Is that creepy? Probably. Happy. Oh, boy. That's not going to fit. Oh, boy. This is what happens when I wing things. The Lamy's stub nibs are a lot of fun for calligraphy practice because they're quite forgiving and they're affordable and they fit on all sorts of Lamy pens. So it'll fit on your um, your LX, your All Star, your Safari, your Vista. Um, it even fits on, on the studios and stuff. So any ink is difficult to find in Iceland. Oh my goodness, I can imagine. I can imagine that uh, I've not really heard of many pen stores nearby, so uh, nearby Iceland, so that's interesting. Um, is this ink similar to the brown pink? You know what? I cannot remember. I used the brown pink so long ago, but personally, I prefer the Kobe inks because I don't like the smell of the, um, the quasi inks or Quetzi or... I don't want to mispronounce it. It just, it's not a bad smell. It's not like they're super scented. It's just that I, I find it like I'm sensitive to it. So, which is weird because I usually like really smell like weird smelling inks. Like these inks have that, um, like slightly acrylic smell that sailor inks have. And I really like it, but I am thinking the brown pink is probably more brown than this. I'm thinking it's, but it's been a while, been a while since I used it. So um, I'm going to write Bordeaux. You should check out, if you have not already, um, Chris, who is our resident ink reviewer artist, he did an ink review, Think Thursday, on, and, um, his drawing of the little, like, wine is like this, and it's adorable, and then it's, like, all sloshy and amazing and beautiful shading, and it's just so awesome. So, I would definitely... Uh, I would definitely take a look at that if you have not already. He's really good. Like, I cannot draw at all, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, I'm totally jealous of his skills. Like, what is this? What am I even doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'll shade some here, but I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, I'm just going to smear that around. Anyway, I think I have probably rambled sufficiently. Let me just fill up the rest of this page by thanking you all for joining me. Because if nobody shows up, I seriously do this anyway. And then I just talk to myself. And it's kind of weird. So I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. And this will be live for 24 hours and I will see you guys for Learning Letters on Friday. I hope you have a magnificent Tuesday, whatever remains or Wednesday or whatever time zone you're in. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.